Welcome back to another video. We're in the color page of DaVinci Resolve for this video, talking about a workflow process that I wish I had implemented a lot sooner within my color grading workflow and practice. So once your project's fully color graded, finished, delivered to the client, we're talking about what to do after that stage and how to export the looks and the stills and actually archive the project in a helpful way to empower us with our future projects. What often happens is you finish a project like this. This is an example of a project I've just finished. You export it, you deliver the ProRes final to the client, and then you archive the project and that's done. Now it might be two years later that a client comes back to you and asks for a slight tweak or a few extra shots to be graded in the same way. And what happens, you open up the project and all of a sudden, things are missing, your DRTs are in the wrong place, it's not linking correctly. And then even when you open it up, it just feels different to the original project. And it's very hard to troubleshoot at times what has happened, especially if it's been a long period of time. So what I like to do is once the project is completely finished, I'm simply going to right click on a still. Before I do that, I'm gonna bring the timeline up and just remove all of the graphics so that I don't bake those graphics into the stills. And we're just gonna right click and choose grab all stills from middle frame. This will take a while if you've got a really large project because it's literally saving a still for every single frame. One thing to keep in mind is this is capturing the grade for each image. And in my case, this is at a clip level. So essentially with this still, I have saved the adjustment for that particular clip. So what I also need to do is go to final grade, another folder, and I'm going to go over to my group post clip and I'm going to save that. Again, same thing, but this time it's just grabbing a single still. So that has saved the look of my final timeline on the group post clip. And then I'm just going to do a group pre clip save as well. In this case, it's a simple color space transform. So now that's saved in the project, I can export them into a color grade stills folder that is alongside my final render. So this is the final timeline. It's the quick time of my final grade that the client will receive or it'll be uploaded depending on your workflow. But then I can also grab all of these stills, right click and choose export. Go ahead and choose export. That's been exported and I will also do the same thing with these pre and post group. So I'm gonna export and create a new folder called pre and post grades. Create. So that's all been exported onto my hard drive next to my final grade. In addition to this, I'm going to export the project and go export project, new folder, DaVinci project file, create. I'll throw a date on that. save. So now in my finder, what you can see is I have my final clip grades, which are a JPEG of each individual shot. So if I cycle through these, I can see every frame that has been color graded in this project. I can also see the associated DRX file, which we'll talk about in a second. And then I have my final pre and post group grades. This is a capture of everything that was done in this project, which is super helpful to reference, especially if you open up this DaVinci project file in the future, and for whatever reason, it just does not look like the final render. You can go back to the color grade stills and actually see a physical JPEG of that look baked into the image to see if you actually do have a one-to-one -one match. So let's break this down practically. Let's say, for example, I'm opening up a brand new project. So in this brand new project, let's say, for example, the client is referencing my prior project as something that they really like the look of. What I can do is grab the color grade stills, the pre and post DRX file from my prior project and just drop them in simply. And then I'm going to grab just one of the stills that I like the look of. For example, let's say this one. So this is the JPEG, so I'm going to take the associated DRX file and drop that in. Now, this is a brand new project. All I wanna do is just put all of my shots in a group. In my group pre-clip, I'm going to drag this pre still, which is my color space transform. In my post clip, I'm going to grab the post look. 
drop that in. And then for my no tree, I'm just going to drop in this grade. And let's just bring up the light box for fun. Look at this. This is a brand new project. I haven't done any adjustments to this project. And already it's, it's looking great. It's absorbed the look from that prior project because I've saved down those DRX reference files. So this is an incredible start to my brand new project. What I can do is just quickly go through here. I'm going to reset the noise reduction in my first grade here. I'm just going to reset this pixel tools prime grade so it's not affecting the image. My exposure, I'm going to reset. My ratio and my white balance, I'm going to reset. Saturation and all of my hue shifts are all reset. So essentially this node tree now is not applying any effect to my image. And I'm going to select absolutely every single clip and just copy it over from that one reference. So now every clip in my project has that fixed node tree and I'm good to start grading. Now to take this one step further, let's say I want to really reference some stills from that prior project. I can go to my color graded stills, final clip grades, and I'm just going to search for the JPEGs under final clip grades. And I'll select all of these and just drag them straight in to my reference folder here within Resolve. So this is simply a final baked down JPEG file of my prior grade. So now I can bring up my still gallery and actually swipe it across and cycle through my stills, which are here on the left hand side, and reference that directly against this new project. But the point of this video is just simply to show you how quick and easy it is to pull prior grades and reference clips from existing projects into new projects and you're basically ready to go and it's just an instant kickstart. So back in the original project, another thing you can do, which you're probably thinking, is you can actually save power grades which are available across the database. So instead of exporting the stills and then re-importing them, you can simply just save the stills into a new power grade. So you can add a power grade album. This one we'll just call look development. And for example, in here, we're just going to save this still and grab a still. And I'm going to call this Morisco grade. Now this Morisco grade is going to be available for any project inside this database because it is now a power grade. This is great, but things over the years can still get lost. And I've found this because we cycle through our databases quite fast, maybe every quarter or every half a year, we get a new database and I'm forever finding projects that need to be referenced in prior databases. And it just takes time to reload that database, find the project, open that project up. So it's just nice again to have it all exported alongside your final grade. All right, the second part of this and the thing that I wish I had done much sooner is actually to save all of the individual tools that you're developing for specific looks. This look is primarily a JP2499 DRT conversion along with a split tone. So this is basically what it's doing. This is the split tone, which I've just added. And then I've made a hue correction or a hue adjustment, added a lot of density into the blues, shifted them a little bit. This is with Pixel Tools Hue Shift. It's an incredible tool for managing the hue, saturation, and density. And then what we have here is two custom curves that I've set up. And what this custom curve is doing is really adding that contrast that I want for this particular project. So this is before, after. So all of this along with a Digi Diffusion, I've got a video about that, which I've just put out on the channel. But what I want to start to do is break this look apart and start creating tools that I can use in the future. So for example, if I really love this 2499 along with this blue split tone, I'm going to save that and bake it down as a tool. So I'll go to my tools. I'll just quickly delete this. And now I'm going to grab this still and just call it 2499 blue shadow split. And then for the curves, I'm just going to delete all of this and just add this as a soft curve. I'm just going to call this curve one. And I'm just going to bake down that hue adjustment, grab still, sky, pop. 
you can obviously name this whatever you like. But the point is that I'm starting to build a set of tools that I can use in the future. So hopefully that gave you some food for thought as to how you can utilize all of the work that you have done in prior projects and utilize that work in future projects just by simply organizing yourself exporting the work that you've done through the form of DRXs or stills from projects and power grades just to empower you to use them in future projects. Just remember in the finder, you now have all of these assets that you can move around with your final render. So I like to have my final render here. I like to have all of the LUTs that I've exported in association with that project. The DaVinci Resolve project file, which of course is the full project. And then the color grade stills, which have all of my clip grades and then all of my pre and post grade power grades or looks. If nothing else, it's just super nice to have a visual reference of your look in the form of JPEGs that you can move around as well. Even if it's simply using those for social media, you can really utilize all of that. All right, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.